Hi. 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 Feels awesome. No, yeah, this is the first time for us, and uh, it's surpassed everything we've been doing, so it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> Do you feel like you're on your way to getting used to sort of gigging and stuff, doing all the bands, and getting more comfortable with it now? Yeah, I think, I think the really cool thing about this tour was that we um, we were already friends with the, the We Were Odyssey guys before we had done a tour before, and so it was really cool to come into the situation and be as, be as comfortable as as we were, so it definitely helped out. And uh, to share a bus with those guys, you know, it's like, it's kind of important that we were friends with them and we already knew them ahead of time, so. So is this your first support gig for like a, a headlining band or? Yeah, actually, you know, besides the, we did a short West Coast tour with, with Where Augustine's um, West Coast in the States, um, and that was it. This is our second real tour, actually, so. Cool. We're still a baby band. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, where did music start for you guys? Was it from a young age, or was it just something you picked up since you had a long? Um, I didn't start, I'm 30 now, I didn't start playing until I was 17. So, a little later. I started playing guitar pretty young, um, and then I stopped playing guitar for a while, for about five or six years, and played keys, bass, um, sang, but didn't really pick up the guitar again until this band started. Um, about two years ago now, and uh, I kind of just relearned the guitar, was, you know, messed around with different tunings and stuff that I never tried before, and uh, that's where this band kind of came from. It wasn't even, we weren't even really expecting to just start a band out of it, we were just jamming in our practice space. We were in other bands at the time, we just started jamming in our practice space, and uh, came up with two or three songs right after that, and you know, we decided to keep going. <laughs> so how did you two actually meet? Um, we both bartended at a we both bartended at a, uh, a music venue in Seattle. So it's about eight hundred person room, um, and uh, yeah, we just got off the work early one night and decided uh, after a few drinks to go try and play some music. Borrowed borrowed equipment, you know. <laughs> That's how we started. <laughs> kind of like anticlimactic, but yeah. <laughs> It actually kind of goes into into how we started as a band. You know, we, we um, like I said before, we, we were it was something that we were kind of doing on the side for fun, and we were already in other bands, and so it wasn't really something that we were we were considering it a, a band that was going to be moving forward. You know, in that capacity, um, until we played an employee band night, and my goodness, was actually the working title for that employee band night at work, and. Uh, we called it that because it was it was like our goodness and we were kind of keeping it to ourselves and it wasn't something that we were going to keep on doing. But the funny thing is, is like the response we got at that show was like beyond anything we had gotten before for any of our other bands. We were like, okay, uh, maybe this is actually something something here, you know, and we should continue on. So we just ended up keeping the name. Thought it worked. <laughs> so how would you describe your sound? Um, you know, I, grew, I most of the music that I played in the past has been is really heavy. So my other bands is just changing your toaster and stuff like that. Sweet. <laughs> 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 okay. um, most of the bands that I've been before have been pretty heavy, you know. And so, and um, but at the same time, I, I'm a big fan of, of blues and, and stuff like that. And really, the, the impetus for me picking up the guitar again was learning these. Uh, new tunings that were, you know, that people play blues in a lot. And so I kind of got all these heavier influences, like the Seattle hardcore scene and the early music from the early '90s, and that was stuff that I really listened to a lot growing up and, and throughout high school. And so I had that as my background. But then at the same time, I, I was trying to do something new with with like these new chord progressions and, or, or new tunings and stuff. And so it was kind of like the melded the two together. So it ends up just a I think we're heavier, a little heavier than the majority of the blues duos that you, you might hear out there. So I think it's because of that. Okay, so who would you say were your musical icons like? Uh, one of mine growing up was Chris Cornell, the singer songwriter. Well, I listened to a lot of like, Hendrix Experience and Led Zeppelin, sort of like my go-to rock bands. 
John Vaughn. John Vaughn and Mitch Mitchell, yeah. Huge. <laughs> so would you say Seattle itself has actually like influenced your music, like the whole scene, or is it just sort of... A little bit. Yeah, I think it's just, it's kind of almost like inevitably because, I mean, the music that, it's just, music there is such a, a, a present part of everyday life, you know, especially growing up and then and being surrounded by, you know, you can turn on the radio without it, you know, just they're on Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, and Soundgarden, just on like repeat constantly, you know, growing up. Like that was the day, that was just day. Even if you didn't like the music, you're going to hear it every single day, you know. So, I mean, and then and then high school, the, the local scene with like, there was a Seattle hardcore scene and then the Flint Brothers, Bird City Devils, and I used to go and, and watch all those shows all the time, you know? And so, yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, and finally, what is the dream for my goodness? What is the ultimate goal? Hmm. Have a good time, tour, and play festivals. Yeah. That's, that's me, right there. Have you got any festival dates lined up? Uh, a couple in the States, but, but nothing over here yet. Every summer there's yeah. something going on. <laughs> But we're just, you know, we're taking a, a show at a time, you know, just having fun. That's like the most important thing for us. I mean, that's how this band started, was us just having fun. So we, we just really want to keep it that way. Yeah. Um. Okay.